Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Tearless Maker. Here, again, another tier list for Overwatch 2, highly requested. And today, I thought I'd be creative with this tier list. Today, we're going to be ranking in this specific tier list the most pure heroes to the most evil heroes or characters we have in the Overwatch 2 roster. I thought this would be a lot of fun. And as always, this is subject this is not subjective this is my list and i would love to hear yours so leave it down in the comments give me negative positive feedback uh i welcome it all flame me in the comments if you want and without further ado without wasting more time let's get right into it um so our five tiers we have hero which is designated for the heroes that are the most pure and who have the littlest ounce of evil the littlest amount of evil in them flawed these are your flaw most characters will end up in flawed i will admit uh flawed is for characters that aren't perfect they do do bad things obviously but there's more good to them unjustified this is middle of the road this is when you're kind of leaning into dangerous territory but you're also in the the uh you there's a lot of gray area here criminal you're one step away from the highest tier in terms of being evil. You're a criminal, and mostly everything you do is bad. And then, evil. Um, this is going to be safe for quite a few characters up here, which you probably won't be surprised are up here. I will do my best to describe why they're in each tier. Um, if I miss something, I apologize. Let me know in the comments. This is just for fun, guys. So, like, comment, subscribe, or not. Up to you guys. So... Baptiste. So, according to Baptiste, Baptiste's origin story, when he was a kid, his country was, um, it was, well, a lot of countries like this were destroyed by the Omni Crisis, and he was a war child. Um, he was part of Talon, from what we understand from his lore, but then he left wanting to, to make better decisions, and he joined Overwatch. I'm gonna put Baptiste as flawed. Now, if he stayed with Talon, he would have been unjustified because he wasn't doing too many bad things in there. But Baptiste just wants to, to save people, but he's not afraid to take a life to save a life. Sojourn, I don't know too much about, so it's going to be really hard to rank her. So um, I'll put her in Flawed because this is, like I said, this is going to be the most common area for some of these characters. So you let me know. Zarya. Zarya is unjustified. So... Um, not only does uh, Zarya's not affiliated with anything super bad, but she she hates Omnics, she hates robots, and she is part of like this this group to um, well destroy Omnics really. Um, if you watch the Sombra, um, wow, infiltration short. You'll see why. I don't want to spoil it for you, but Zarya, unjustified. Zenyatta. Zenyatta is pure. Bald-headed pure support we have here. Zenyatta may be the most hero-like, the most pure, but we'll see as this list goes on. Zenyatta. Um, don't confuse this with Mandata. Mandata was um, a civil rights movement hero who died by Widowmaker, but Zen also wants equal rights for both now he's not a bad omnic either um he rescued not necessarily rescued genji he nursed genji back to health and made him feel comfortable and accept himself as um a cyborg and for that he's a hero junker queen junker queen this has a little bit of gray area um she's not a good She's a good person, but she's not a good person, if you know what I mean. She's um, pretty much killing people in the arena. She's in the Australian wasteland, the outback. I'm going to put her as flawed, because I think there is more good to her than there is bad, but not necessarily a role model, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, Sigma. I'm going to put Sigma as criminal. Now, Sigma's too smart for his own good. But he's also very delusional. Um, watch his origin story. It gave me goosebumps. It made the hairs on my arms rise. So, 
Sigma is criminal. Um, I think he's so close to being straight up evil. But he, he's right there. Um, but there's certain factors about his character, about his lore, where I can't put him there. Okay. Moira. Uh, this is going to be tough. Um, oh, this is odd. Um, I want to put Moira on evil, but I'm not going to. And I'll explain why. Moira assisted in Blackwatch with um, Genji, McCree, and Reaper before Reaper went to Talon. So she was under the umbrella of Overwatch. She was doing her thing. She was helping out Reaper, pulling out these missions in Blackwatch. So she did bring Reaper back to life, not for the best intent either. I mean, she made him a ghost. But, yeah, I'm going to leave her in criminal for now. Um, I might add her. Bring her up. Or not. We'll see. Um, Mercy. Surprising. She's flawed. I wouldn't necessarily consider her a hero. Um, my reasoning for that is Mercy is very outgoing, yes. But I don't think she cares for everyone the same amount. Um, especially Omnix. She seems to have a little problem with Omnix. But you let me know. I could be wrong. This is just for fun. Um, comment. Let me know. Hanzo. Hanzo is unjustified. So um, almost killing his brother. Criminal organization. I think the fact that he left the criminal organization after he thought he killed his brother brings him down to unjustified. If it wasn't for him resigning and leaving or just straight up abandoning, I think I'd have him in criminal. Now, the Shimada crime family is notorious. In the Overwatch lore, um, you have Kiriko, who not necessarily part of the, the crime family, but part of the the Shimada family. Um, but yeah, I, I um, Hanzo, he's unjustified. He he has some work to do. He he needs to like adjust his moral compass, but he's not he's unjustified. Kiriko, I th mm, we don't know too much about Kiriko, but I'm going to put her in hero because. If you watch her short, there isn't really anything bad about her. It seems like all she wants to do is help people. So, let me know in the comments. I'm going to say that a lot, sorry. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to stick her in here. Reaper, evil, chaos. He was part of the reason why the Switz Overwatch headquarters blew up. He tried killing Jack Morrison out of jealousy because he took his spot as leader of Overwatch. And for that, he gets put in the big evil pile. He's He's been a bad boy. He's uh, our edgelord. And you could just tell Reaper's evil. Look at the way he looks. Anna, flawed. Don't be surprised by this. I know a lot of you surprised. Like, <gasps> how could you? No. Um, but in all seriousness, seriously. So, whoa, English, English. I'm sorry. All seriousness. It's, it's the morning, guys. I'm really tired. I'm sorry. Um, Anna is flawed. You know... She wants the perfect life for her daughter, Farah, But don't let that, like, misconceive you. Anna is a great person, but she has done some stuff that she regrets. That she will carry on in her mind for the rest of her life. You know, she was a sniper. She had to kill people she didn't want to kill. But it were her or it was her orders. But in my opinion, like, this, once again, this is my opinion, guys. I don't, I think she's done a little bit too much to be a hero, but I appreciate her, appreciate her for that. Soldier 76, flawed. Um, Soldier 76, after the Swiss headquarters blew up, he faked his death. He wanted everyone to, well, he didn't fake his death. Everyone thought he was dead and he, he wanted to keep it that way. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing. I mean, that's kind of mm, selfish, maybe. But he would go on uh, doing missions outside of the public eye after Overwatch was banned. You know, trying to be a good guy. But I'm sorry, I, I am almost certain Soldier has done some things he regrets. So I'm putting him in flawed. Um, Winston, I'm gonna put him in hero. How can you be mad at Winston, bro? Um, he might have been one of the few animals that didn't riot on this space station, Horizon, Horizon Zero, uh, Lunar Colony, if you didn't know. 
Horizon Lunar Colony was a space station where a bunch of scientists, yes, up in space, would keep animals like monkeys and a hamster will come to later. Where they weren't necessarily like experimenting on them, but they were, you know, experimenting on them using them as test subjects. Um, and maybe they were doing some really, some, some stuff they shouldn't be doing, but Winston loved his owner, um, Harold Winston, I believe. Yes. Um, and Winston's a good guy. He's the reason why Overwatch came back. He recalled it and he, he, he wants to put a stop to evil. He wants to make the world a better place. So I have been hero. If you disagree, if you want to put him flawed and you know, I'm not going to argue with you with that. John Crowd is a straight up criminal. So I think he's too stupid to be evil. Now, let me explain. Junkrat is maniacal. He is sinister. He is psychotic. He's a sociopath. But he's also really stupid. Like, I wonder if the stuff that he's doing, he even realizes he's doing so. For that alone, I can't put him in evil. I'm going to keep him, in, keep him up in criminal. He is pretty funny, though. Um, May. I'm going to put May in hero. Now... Everyone hates May, yeah, because of gameplay reasons, but May may be, I don't want to say perfect, because I don't know. Um, I don't really know what to say about May. I mean, all the lore we've received from her is that she's been a scientist at the Antarctica, um, Eco Point Antarctica base, um, trying to solve um, global warming, and her short alone was absolutely beautiful and that's all i'm really going based off with her specifically because we don't know too much lore about her i'm gonna keep her in hero yeah i'm gonna keep her in hero symmetra is flawed so symmetra is part of what was the name of the company i apologize i don't know the name of the organization she was part of but she is part of the organization that uses light as physical objects and that's usually what that's what her kit is based around now she's not necessarily a bad person but like a lot of people in flawed she has done things that she regrets obviously and she also has very controversial views on people especially omnic so i'm going to keep her in flawed tracer i have as a hero she's one of the most positive and pure characters in the hero roster i don't really need to explain too much yeah Hammond, Wrecking Ball is, like, unjustified. That little shit is wrecking havoc, and he probably doesn't even realize it. He's genius, don't get me wrong. I mean, last the last bit of lore we got from him was before we knew about Junker Queen, where he was fighting in those um, deathmatch arenas in Junker Town. So, yeah, unjustified. Roadhog, criminal... Not only is he big and he's bad, but Roadhog commits crimes. Go watch the short with Junkrat and Roadhog. Absolutely hilarious. Kind of off topic, but I have him in criminal. Reinhardt. Reinhardt is flawed. Um, he has one of the saddest shorts. Now that I'm speaking about shorts a lot, I should make a cinematic short tier list. Like, comment if you want to see something like that. Kind of going off topic here, but... Yeah, Reinhardt is flawed, you know... You could tell he he has demons. He he's done things he doesn't like. He he has had friends that he may have let die on accident because of his ego. He was running wild when he was younger, you know. Reinhardt is a young man and all, but <laughs> flawed. Farah, I am going to also actually I'm putting Farah and Hero right now. We don't know too much about Farah to you know explore any dark sides of her. From what we know is that she's the daughter of Anna, and she doesn't want to be in her shadow. You know, she wants to be her own person. And, you know, that's respectable, but that's all I can really go off now, so I'm keeping her in hero. Genji. I'm going to put Genji in flawed, and the only reason for that was because he was part of the Shimada crime family. Now, he didn't want to be part of it, you know, necessarily he didn't want to, but... You know, he was also doing things with Blackwatch he shouldn't have been doing. And just because of that, you, you get part, you put him flawed. 
Um, he didn't really want to accept his body as being a cyborg, which I mean, who wouldn't, but... I'm sorry if I'm not going to deep explanation, guys, but I'm just going... It's early, like I said, so I haven't been flawed. McCree, he's unjustified. Um, he's pretty close to being criminal, but part of his lore was he was part of the Deadlock gang. And then he was captured by Overwatch, and he was either given he was given an ultimatum to join Overwatch or rot in jail. And he obviously took the former and decided to join Overwatch. So, doing good for himself. He is on a path to redemption right now. Echo, um, I'm gonna put her in hero. Her cre she's pretty much a mirror of her creator, and she's supposed to be doing good by this world. And for up to this point, she has, you know, Echo seems like she's been programmed to just do good. So it may fe seem a little unfair to rank her here, but this I'm going to put her. Samba, criminal. Um, she's not evil, evil. I mean, she blackmails and she does the uh, backstabs people. But if you go watch her short, here we are back at the shorts again. She would rather blackmail someone and get what she wants by extortion than actually kills someone which i mean respectable but you're, you're still committing crime sambra so you're up here in criminal Burgett, um Burgett's a hero you know she's also a character we don't have too much lore about just quite yet um so i'm hoping we get more and they elaborate on it more but she's a hero daughter of torbjorn and reinhardt's the godfather i think that's how it went so yes um hero she just wants to do good she believes Omnix and um, humans should all be equal, which is good in my book. Diva. Diva is... I don't know where to rank Diva. She, she, I'm going to put her in Hero. I would put her in Flawed, but it's not her fault, the crisis she was brought into when she was younger. She's a gamer who um, protects her city every so couple of years when the Omnix rise from the ocean to destroy her city. She fights them off, so... You gotta give her a thumbs up for that. Bastion. Bastion. This is rough because Bastion was programmed to be a killer Omnic. And I'm putting him in hero. You know, I, I, I can't fault for him for the way he was programmed. Bastion has turned a new leaf. So, you let me know in the comments where you think should be. I think hero is the perfect spot. Ash criminal. Ash is the leader of the Deadlock game. She robs banks. She, whoa, like my cat scared me, guys. Sorry. She robs banks. She hurts people. She shoots people, and she takes what she wants. So, she's a criminal. Uh, enough said. Lucio, Lucio, I'm going to put in hero. Don't know too much about Lucio. I wish we got a short and more lore about him. So, this is where he belongs for now. Torbjorn, he's flawed. Torbjorn hates Omnix, which is hilarious because he's has a, a cyborg arm and it's like bro you're half omnic too and you're over here hating on your brothers and sisters so flawed doomfist evil evil more evil than reaper not so sure um but he is a bad guy doomfist is a bad guy widowmaker evil um, this is tough because Widowmaker was brainwashed and I assumed Whoa, my English is so bad today, guys. I swear. Um, my sympathy, f I do have sympathy for her. You know, she was brainwashed to kill her husband, Gerald, G G Gerald, Ger Gerald, Gerald, something like that. Woo, man, I'm having trouble today. Yes, but she's an assassin. She kills people and... You know, I would put her in criminal, but she was brainwashed, but she's done some really evil things. And Arisa, she is an Omnic who is programmed to be a hero. But flawed. You know, she's still learning. She still does things that aren't alright, you know, but she's flawed. Okay, um, <laughs> this is where I have my um, hero to evil tier list. Let me know if I screwed up. Let me know if this is an L take. Let me know if this is a W. And thank you for watching, everyone. And this is Space Shark signing out. I love you. Goodbye.